Alright guys, welcome back to a new video and a new series. If you saw my teaser on Twitter, you already know what this is going to be. In case you didn't, then here is the reveal. Alright, so we're going to be playing some Mario Party 6. It's going to be a little mini series I'm going to do. I'm going to play just one 50 turn game, I believe. And then from there, we'll see what you guys want. Maybe we'll do some more. I just want to hear from you guys, and we'll go from there. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game. Let's go ahead and name this MVP. Just be short and quick and get this out of the way, because this is not what we want to watch in the video. Alright. Moving on. So, welcome, as I said earlier, you guys. I hope you're having a great day. If not, then try to put that behind you, and let's get started fresh right here, right now with this game of Mario Party. Alright, so party mode. This is going to be the main mode of this game, in case you didn't know already. If you haven't played Mario Party before, it's just basically a giant board game full of a bunch of mini games that you play as well. And the way you win is by collecting the most stars, which is what you're going to see next. So these people, if you haven't played the game before, will explain the game to you, but I basically just did that. So we're going to go ahead and skip over that. So we've got five maps that we can choose from, and a six that we can unlock. So these maps are going to be Towering Treetop, Egad's Garage, Fair Square, Snowflake Lake, and Castaway Bay. I haven't played Towering Treetop in a really long time, so I'm going to go ahead and play this. Alright, so Battle Royale, so it's a free-for-all, we're going to do, as I said earlier, 50 turns. All games, with bonuses, of course. And we're going to play single player, obviously. Play with Mario, and we're going to play against Luigi, Peach, and Yoshi. We're going to go ahead and play them on normal as well, no handicap. Alright, let's get this party started. And... First time I ever played this game, I think I was in the first grade. I got this for Christmas, I think, when I was in the first grade as well. I'm now a sophomore in college. It's been a while. I grew up with this game. It's always something I can fall back on. I'm looking for something to play. And I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy this video. So the sun guy is going to go ahead and explain the board to us. So stars are going to cost you 20 coins. As I explained earlier, stars are how you win the game by collecting the more if you collect the most stars then you win so as soon as someone gets the star from the star space it'll move somewhere else on the board which can be frustrating because somebody could get a star and it could spawn like right in front of where they already were and then they get two stars and all of a sudden they're two stars are ahead of you and it's difficult to catch up so we gotta spin higher than them this determines the order that we go in to jump from space to space on the board and we're gonna roll now and we rolled an 8. Okay, so we're going to be going 2nd. That's cool, because I've been playing a little bit leading up to this video. And I've been 4th the past 2 games that I've played. So it's nice to end that drought. I will appreciate going 2nd. For sure. So 1st is going to... 4th is going to be Peach. 3rd is going to be Luigi. 2nd is going to be us. And 1st is going to be Peach. Everyone starts off with 10 coins. You also get 10 coins if you win a minigame. That is just the standard reward that you get. So the star is going to start up at the top left corner of the board. Alright, let's party. Alright, so Yoshi got three coins. You also get three coins by landing on a blue spot, and you lose three coins by losing... For by landing on a red spot. Sorry, I forgot to talk. All right, ten right off the bat. That's awesome. So that gets us ahead of that gets us ahead of everyone else, which is what we want. And we want to go this way to the top of the board. So we're coming up on the star pretty quick. We don't want to get there too quick though, because we don't have enough coins. Hopefully, we'll win this next mini game and get ten coins. Then we will have enough to purchase our first star. All right. So there is an example of a red spot. Peach's lost three coins. Oh, we're starting right off the bat with a 1v3 minigame. So let's see who the 1 is going to be and who the 3 is going to be. Our first minigame is going to be called Stage Fright. 
Okay, so I remember this. You have to shoot paintballs at the one person who's on the stage, which is going to be Peach. So Yoshi, Luigi, and us are going to be firing paintballs at Peach. So three players on moving platforms fire balls at the stage. One player has to run around the stage to avoid getting hit. Controls, that's Peach, just to move. Our only control is A to shoot. So here we go. Here's their first mini game. I believe it moves us. Yeah, that's what makes the game challenging, is it moves us already. Right, I'm just spamming. I'm just spamming. Come on. Get her. Get her. Oh, we got hit. How did we get hit? Did I shoot Yoshi or something? Oh, oh. Alright. Yoshi got her. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we're going to get 10 coins for winning that game now, and we will have enough to purchase our first star when we get there. So we're now in a three-way tie for first place. Yoshi's going to go. Okay, Yoshi rolled an 8. So he's going to be slightly ahead of us. And he's going to land on a red space. He just lost three coins, so that's going to drop him to third place. Now time for us to go, so five... All right, we got a few orbs, too. Orbs are like power-ups that you use in the game. All right, we're landing on the Donkey Kong space, too. Awesome. It's only going to give us even more of a boost. He'll give you stars and coins and all sorts of great stuff. So what's he going to do for us? All right, spin the Donkey Kong minigame wheel. So trade you coins for any bananas you get during the game. So we got to collect bananas. And this will determine how many coins we get for each banana. So we need to get two coins for every banana we earn during the game. Now it's time to spin the mini wheel, mini game wheel. Banana shake. Okay, I remember this one. You have to shake a tree to get bananas to fall. But he also kind of throws a wrench in the plan. And hammers fall. And you have to try to dodge those hammers, but they are incredibly hard to dodge. They fall ridiculously fast. And the other players on the board are also going to benefit from, benefit from this as well. We're not the only ones, which is unfortunate. We land on the spot, but they're taking our coins. Go! That's, 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 oh gosh. Alright, shake. Spam the button. Oh, there's a hammer. Oh, crap. Alright, so, Yoshi already has seven. Okay, that's three hammers in a row. Finish. Yoshi and Luigi got eight? <laughs> oh my gosh, we got 16 coins apiece. We got four and Peach got six. So we came in dead last there. So we would have been better off if we didn't land on that spot because we just gave a boost to all the other players on the board. We're now in third place as opposed to being tied for first like we were. So that just sucks. There's no other way to put that. All right, so it's Luigi's turn now. I only landed on the dual space. So this is where it's a 1v1 mini game, and you get to pick who you compete against. I believe you just picked Yoshi, and you compete for either stars or coins, and you choose how many you want to put at stake. So he just put all but three of Yoshi's coins up for stake, and all but six of his coins. And then you can win the other person's coins. So they're going to be playing Cog Jog. Let's see if I remember this one. Okay, I do remember this one. This one, I believe, is actually pretty challenging. Most of the dual mini games are fairly challenging because they're not meant to be easy because you're trying to take stars from another player. So you're trying to jump on all these different spinning cogs and wheels. Oh! Oh, and yeah, if you lose, you get sent back to the very beginning as well. Which is... Alright, so they both fell again. Yeah, this is ridiculously hard to do. So, I'm not sure if they lose anything if both of them don't win. Or if maybe they lose everything because neither of them won. Yeah, it's a tie. So, let's see how this impacts their coins. Hopefully, they lose everything. Alright, so they're just going back to where they were before. So, that changed absolutely nothing. Alright, so now Peach will go, and then we'll get on to our next minigame. 
Okay, she's gonna land on a red space up here, so she'll be with Yoshi. And we are just slightly ahead of them. So the pack is really together right now. It'll eventually spread out. Cashapult. Okay, so this one... You basically get shot up into the sky, I believe. Yes, you do. You get shot up into the sky and you have to collect as many coins as you can. And then you get to keep those coins. So this is one that goes against the 10 coin norm. And you can get more or less depending on how well you and your teammate perform. So it's going to be me and Luigi Art. So we've got the Mario Bros. Here we go. Let's see how many coins I can snag. Alright, so I got seven. Okay, Yoshi got seven as well. Go, Luigi. Okay, 11. They got 12 now. It's really hard to judge, too, unless you, like, memorize the board. Alright, so we got 15 now. Come on, Luigi. Luigi! Okay, so there's... Okay, so I don't get to go again. So you get three turns. Be stupid! So we each get 15 coins, and they both get 14 coins. Pretty simple minigame. So we're gonna be in third place. That's a lot of coins. Everyone has a lot of coins. There hasn't been a star yet, which would explain why everyone still has a lot of coins. Because nobody has spent it. Alright, so Yoshi's probably gonna get a star again. Dang it. Yes, he is. Dang. Alright, let's see where the star space moves. We gotta hope that we can get there. Or anywhere else? This game can be extremely frustrating, but it was so much fun to play. There's 50 turns, and we're only on turn, like, 2 or 3 right now. What are we, turn... We're on turn 3. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Alright, he also got an orb. And he landed on the tree, so let's see what this does. It's one of those mystery spaces. So he shot out a ton of coins. So Yoshi also got extra coins on that turn. That's wonderful. Oh, we got extra coins. Oh, so everyone gets extra coins. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Eight coins. Hey, hold up. Did she get 13? Oh, come on. What kind of socialist bullcrap is this? Alright, we're definitely going to use a sluggish stream more, but first I want to see the map. So the star is down there. But we can't get there. Because it's going to shoot us back off to the right again and go around. That still appears to be the quickest way, so we need to go to the right. We're going to use this. Hopefully you land on 10. Occasionally you land on 1 if you don't click it fast enough. So here we go. 7, 8, 9. Oh my gosh, and I managed to do that. I jinxed myself. Alright, so one spot to the right, and we wasted an orb. Dang it. So we're having a pretty rough beginning to this game here. That's just very unfortunate. Alright, now Luigi's in the same square as us. Oh, Peach got a golden shroom orb. A super shroom orb. So now, and she landed on the Donkey Kong space. Hopefully we'll benefit from this one as well. So the, the Super Shroom Orb allows you to spin three dice blocks, and you can move up to 30 spots, which is crazy to think about. It's almost one cycle around an entire board. Depending on which route you take, it actually might be. So each banana is going to be worth two coins again. Let's go ahead and spin the minigame wheel. It's going to be Banana Shake again. All right. Go ahead and start this. Hopefully we can do better this time, because we got like two bananas last time. And some others got eight. Donkey Kong's obviously a little hungry. <laughs> Go! Alright. There's a banana. There's another banana. Oh, they got bundles of bananas. Oh, we got a bundle too. Okay. Oh, there's a hammer though. Come on, another banana. Another banana. Oh, hammer. Oh, we won that time. Okay, so we just got 18 coins. Yoshi got 16. Luigi got 8. Peach got 16 as well. So we actually made it off of the winners that, as the winners that time. I'll take that. I will take that. Oh, yeah. 
See you later, DK. Thanks for the help. Alright, so this is going to be a four-player minigame. Note to self. So this is going to be... Okay, so yeah, you gotta bounce these note blocks as many times as you can to win the game. And you can jump on top of other players and disable them for a short period of time as well. So hit the three bouncing music notes as many times as you can. Whoever hits the most notes wins. Simple controls. Control stick to move. A to jump. Classic video game controls. Go! Alright, and here we go. So let's jump on top of these guys, disable them. If you're lucky, you can manage to get them trapped in the corner and just really rack up. Kind of, oh, we missed them. Luigi jumped on top of us, so it makes it shorter. Alright, so we're winning right now. Twelve. Oh man, we're destroying right now because I'm just jumping on top. I'm bullying the rest of the players. It's bad. Okay, so we doubled. Pichu is in second place. So I will take that. So we're gonna get ten coins for that, and they're all gonna get zero. So we're now up to eighty-one coins. We gotta spend some of these. All right, so now it's gonna shift to nighttime. So let's see how many turns it takes to shift the night time. So that's going to be every four turns it will change between daytime and nighttime. And I accidentally skipped over that cutscene, but from day to nighttime, the Donkey Kong spots change to Bowser spots. So Bowser's going to steal stuff from you as opposed to giving it to you like Donkey Kong does. And the tree turns into an evil tree, which I'm assuming takes our coins since he just gave us coins. Alright, so we got a Mushroom Orb. That is the smaller version of what Peach got earlier, which was the Super Shroom Orb. Where she got to spin three times, Yoshi will get to spin twice. But here, we are going to spin once. So there's three, let's swing on this acorn. Are we going to get a Star Space? Okay, so this can either be your best friend or your worst enemy. It's basically just based off luck of a spin of a wheel. You could gain stars. You could gain coins, you could lose stars, you could lose coins, or you could get absolutely nothing and watch other players on the board benefit. So once again, rage inducing Mario Party. And you get to spin it as well. So it's gonna be Yoshi is the first one. And next, we've got a one in three chance of that being us now. And it's gonna be Luigi. So let's see what they'll be swapping. This affects us not at all. Okay, so Yoshi's losing a star. <laughs> so we're helping our brother out, giving him a star. Giving him a star. Oh, that just sucks. There's no other way to explain it. <laughs> at least it wasn't us. Alright, so he's gonna use that orb, and if you land on that, I believe it steals coins from you. Oh man, it's Peach Lucky. She's standing on a Bowser spot, but it's not going to affect her. Alright, good, she's not going to land on a star spot. Oh, I could end up giving us something, potentially. Alright, so this is going to be a 2v2 mini game. Jump the gun. Let's see what this is gonna be. One player creates a bridge by shooting bullet bills while the other jumps across them. Okay. So we're about to figure out which player we are. We're with Luigi again, so the Mario Brothers are back at it. And we're gonna be the one who jumps, which I... There's more margin for error, so I don't Go. really like this. And I fell. Oh, there we go. Luigi, we already went there. Come on. We already went there as well, Luigi. We're ahead of us right now, aren't they? I know we're about in the same spot. Risking it. Oh, and I fell. Don't tell me she's going to take me back from the beginning. Okay, it's not. Just back to where we were last time. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna go back again, because we fell. Luigi, we've already been here, stop shooting him there! Alright, that's a safe spot to jump. So I'm just not gonna jump unless there's two side by side. Oh, dude, Luigi, come on, man! Oh! Oh! Alright, looks like we're gonna lose this round. Finish! Uh, you know, if I had landed on some of the single ones, Luigi probably could have had it, but I kept falling, so I had to just keep playing it safe. If Luigi hadn't thrown away so many bad bullets, we wouldn't really had to worry about that. Alright, so that's gonna wrap up this video. We're at about 21 minutes. That's gonna be a nice, solid first video of this series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything you want me to do. Recommend a length of a video. Recommend another game to play on the channel. Do whatever you want. Tell me if I'm doing a good job, a bad job, what you want to see improved. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Everyone's pixelated. Run. Get the heck out. Get out of there, Donald. Get out of there.